Hello students, welcome back. In the last two videos, we have seen the first two programs of Operating System Lab that are simple calculator program by using arithmetic expression and the second one is finding the roots of quadratic equation. In this video, we are going to learn our third program that is uh, implementation of the binary search. So introduce 1D array manipulation and implementation of the binary search. So this is our manual. So first let me explain you the concept of binary search so that it will be easy for you to understand the concept of how the particular binary search we can implement. So coming to the binary search, first we'll be getting an array elements and that array elements should always be in the ascending order. So here I'm taking few of the array elements like 10, comma, some 15 comma 20 comma 25 comma 30 these are the array elements which i have taken after that the recent search key given to you for example i am taking the search key as some 25 you can give any search key so we need to search this particular 25 key in the given list of elements so for that in binary search, it is very mandatory that the, all the elements should be in an ascending order. The next thing what we need to do is we need to find the mid value. Mid value, we have the formula low plus high by 2. This is the formula to find the mid value. So always in an array, the mid value will start. Mid value that is low plus high will be based on the index number of the particular array element. So the index number always starts with 0. So the index number of 10 is 0. The index number of 15 is 1 in, and so on. The index number of 30 is some n minus 1. So here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So index number starts with 0 plus index number ends with 4. 0 plus 4 by but I don't know. You should not commit. They are not there. We are busy in work. Sorry. I'm recording. If you come see, I need to start again from starting. So we need to do 0 plus 4 by 2. So after that, 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 by 2 will get the value as 2. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So the 20 is considered as the mid element for our given problem. After that, we need to check our 25 is equal to our mid element. If it is equal, if our key element is equal to the mid element, then we are going to return that particular mid element. Index position we are going to give the answer if it is not equal if it is not equal let me go down and let me come to the program this is the program here in the program in the first line we i have declared whatever the variables i required after that i have taken one printf statement and asking the user to enter the number of elements then I am taking the scanf. Then I am taking the scanf to read that number of elements. Then I am asking the user to enter the elements in ascending order. As the user will enter all the numbers, how many numbers the user have given here, because of which I am writing the scanf statement inside the for loop so that the number, how much number the how much the number of elements the user have entered, that many times this scanf can read that particular value. After that, I am asking the user to enter the uh, key element to be searched. You can enter the key element, then that key element can be read by using the particular scanf statement. After that, initially I am declaring the low value. Initially, I am declaring the low value to 0. 
after that i am declaring the high value that equals to n minus 1 as i have explained you the low value is 0 it always starts from 0 0 means the index number not the number what we are declaring the index number is considered as value for low and the index number for high is n minus 1 and we are checking while low is less than or equals to high we are going to check our condition until this condition is true we are going to find the mid value by the given formula what i have given here after that i am checking if my key value is equals to equals to a of mid then i am trying to print found equals to 1 after that we can write the print of statement here itself in the program this if found is equals to equals to 1 we can write this print of statement here itself in the program we can write the print of statement here then we can write the break and i am giving the semicolon and i am removing this exit of zero and here if if not equals to found then we are going to print up item not found so if if first we are going to check if key is equal to equal to a of i our key value that is 25 which is equal to 2 if it is 25 is equal to 20 if it is true then that particular position will be printed if it is not true then it will go else if if key is greater than a of mid it will check our key value is greater than our a of mid this mid value what we have 20 it will check that condition then again our low and high value we are going to increment and decrement we are going to increment the low value we are going to decrement the high value if we are going to check our search towards the left side this is how we are going to find out the key value then if we are not getting our value if we are not finding the particular value whatever we are giving as key then it will print a message item not found now let me go to the vmware workstation and show you the execution of the particular code let me clear the screen now let me go to the virtual machine this is the virtual machine so here already i have done the program week 3.c you can see the program once this is the program the same what i have showed you in the video for explanation the same program is written here so here i have written print f also here only and if not found we can write any statement now i am going to run that particular program how to run go to applications system tools terminal once we go to the terminal we should go to the particular directory once we go to the directory the command for running is cc space week3 i have given the name week3.c so if we don't have any errors we will get the same line so i can run my program dot slash a dot out it is asking you to enter the number of elements i am giving some 5 it is asking you to enter the elements in ascending order i am giving 12 13 14 16 18 18 it is asking you enter the search key if i am giving search key as 20 it will show you the message called item not found because here we have given the search key as 20 and which is not available in this particular given elements so let us try one example which is there with with search key found so i am giving again some 6 so we need to enter 6 elements 15 18 34 45 67 70 80 so it will ask you for the search key i am giving the search key as 67 it will give you item found in the position 5 even you can give slash n here 
so that it will print in the next line. Slash n. Saving the program again. I'm going back to the terminal. I'm running the compiling the program again. I'm running the program. I'm giving number as four. I'm giving 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm giving 12. So item found at position one. This is how our program is going to run for the binary search. Hope everybody understood the program. Thank you.